I'm thirsty. Evolution Craft Brewing Company presents Pine Hopple, an India Pale Ale. This beer fuses a generous amount of real pineapple juice with an aggressive hoppy bite. The result is a smooth citrusy ale perfect for outdoor barbecue. Uh oh, don't mind me, I'm just having an internal monologue. Should I do this? It's kind of crude. Alright, I'll enter this viewer, why the heck not? Um, a while back on my Plague Dogs video that I reviewed quite a couple of months ago, um, I received a very strange request, not a food request, but a actual performance request from a viewer named Lenore Crowley. And Lenore Crowley had the cojones to dare me to open up a video by saying this sentence. I don't understand why that is. Uh, is it some kind of challenge to my manhood? Have I not proven that I'm a man with giant grapefruits on this show? I mean, I eat dog food for crying out loud. What more do you want from me? Is it because that I don't talk about football or, or I don't talk about fixing my car or anything like that? Is it because I like to wear bright colors or is it because I, I own small dogs and I'm not ashamed to admit that I love them very much? I don't know what it is. I don't know. Why? But if, is this what people think about me? Do people think that I, I'm some kind of prissy boy? All right, well, I guess to prove that I'm not, to all you viewers out there, I mean, I hope that this is just uh, an isolated thing and that this is not what all my viewers think about me. I mean, I, I'm content with you thinking that I'm some kind of weirdo. Please think that I'm a weirdo. Just don't challenge my manhood for crying out loud. So anyway... Here goes. I'm going to say this sentence. It's very, very vulgar. I do not like it, but I'm going to say it just to entertain Lenore out there. So, Lenore, I hope you're happy. <sighs> Pussy. OMG, I love you. <laughs> I hate that word. Ugh. The P word. I just... Ugh. I don't know what it is about that word, it's just, it's just, I mean, I love that word and use, use it in different ways, like, if I'm talking about calling somebody a wimp, like I'm talking about a little geek that I'm gonna pick up by his underwear and shove into a gym locker, I'm like, haha, there you go, you stupid pussy, you stay in there, you rot. I love that word, but when you're talking about female genitalia, it's, there is no good word for the female genitalia. I feel uncomfortable saying every one of them, besides maybe vagina. Vagina is the technical term, and that's, that's fine. But every other word, it just, ugh, I don't like it. I don't like the P word. I just, ugh. So I, and I, I hope you don't mind that I bleeped it out, because, and I, I haven't ended, edited this yet, but I know that I'm going to bleep it out when it comes to the, uh, the final product here. Um, but I just don't like that word. I just don't. Um, it's all about context. It's just, a word can mean something completely different, it can make you feel a completely different way. It all depends on context. And speaking of which, pineapple! Pineapple is something that can be enjoyed in context. I love pineapple when it is featured on my plate in front of me in the right form. I love, when I went to Hawaii, there was all sorts of fresh pineapple. Pineapple tasted better there than anywhere else. They practically pulled it right off the tree and they served it to you, chopped up. It was nice and juicy, delicious. You sucked all the juice out of it. It was, it was awesome. Uh, pina coladas. I love pineapples in like all sorts of mixed drinks. Pineapples in pies. Uh, pineapple flavored candies. Like the, I think the runts had like pineapple flavors. The runts are really, really good. Um, pineapple juice. Pineapple juice is, is awesome. I, I love drinking, and it smells like sweat socks, but it's, it's delicious. But then, for whatever reason, I guess we were in some kind of experimental stage, people just started to get cute with pineapple. And then you start seeing it in all sorts of strange places, like chocolate-covered pineapples, pineapples like in fondue, uh, pineapples on ice cream, pineapples on pizza! Grilled pineapple! People eat grilled pineapple! Doesn't that defeat the purpose? A pineapple is supposed to be juicy and like, if you suck all the juice out of it, what's left is just a husk. You're grilling, you throw it on the grill, all the juice is dripping out and... 
What's next? Are we gonna be grilling ice cubes? It's a freaking oxymoron! I don't get it. But, I guess, here's yet another thing that hasn't been tried. Pineapple and beer! Now, I'm a manly man! I love beer! Take that, Lenore! But anyway... Do I start taking points off for this? Now, the thought prospect of pineapples in beer is just, just such a toxic combination. I just, I, I, I think of it and it's just like two flavors, like one is on one side of the earth and the other is on the other side of the earth. They belong there. They should never, they should never meet. They should never rendezvous and make a taste sensation because that taste sensation is a taste curse. But what worries me even more about this beer is it's called Pine Hopple. This is like double jeopardy because hops is a taste all its own. Sometimes I don't like the taste of hops in my beer because the hops are too strong. But now we're, we're combining beer and hops and pineapple, shaking it all up. What's gonna come out of that? It's gonna be like, I mean, it has the propensity to be, to be dreadful, but uh, there's no time like the present. Let me give it a smell, see, and uh, we'll see what I think. It smells like beer. I really don't smell a lot of motorcycles out today. I really don't smell anything besides beer and a little hint of hops. Maybe the hops are going to uh, drown out the taste of pineapple, but we'll see. Um, I guess no time like the present. Just open up the lips and pass the gums. Now you see, I was all curious to try a pineapple flavored beer. Bad curious is the same thing as good curious. Curious is curious. It's going to get you a sale either way. This is disappointing. All I taste is hops. I don't taste any pineapple really at all. As a normal hoppy beer, it tastes fine. I mean, this is like, although there is like a little, a strange citrus sensation that lingers all the way deep in the background. Like you're talking different layers of parallax scrolling. This is the, the section all the way in the back that barely, barely moves. It's like all the way back there and you can't taste it. It's gonna be very hard to grade this because it's false advertising. You have to take points off for that. Um, you're, you're selling a pine hopple beer and I'll taste pineapple. You know what? Context. Maybe, going back to this context thing, maybe because it's in a bottle, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need to drink this in a glass. Maybe that is the problem. Sometimes that makes all the difference. And I apologize to all the other beers that I've drank in the past because I didn't afford them this luxury, but this one is the most curious case that I've come across. Now, Fans of beer might note the strange twinge, the strange color that this beer is. It's a little bit of a, like a really light brown, almost an orangey kind of color, which would probably demonstrate that there is some kind of different flavoring in here, different kind of fruit flavor. I don't know. I'll try it out of the glass and we'll see. All right. It tastes different. I still don't taste any pineapple. This is freaking weird. This is gonna be probably, and I did not know this, I didn't think this was gonna happen going in, this is gonna be one of the hardest grades I've ever come up with because, what are you? You know what? Because it's a good, hoppy beer, I'll give it two and a half stars because it rates on the average side, but you know what? If you were looking for a pineapple flavored beer, I'd say take a star off. I mean, this is a one and a half star beer if you were looking for a pineapple beer experience, which I don't know why you would, but you know, we're curious people and I wanted to know just how bad it could have been or how maybe how good it could have been. Maybe my eyes would have been open for the first time and I'd be like, oh wow, I can't wait to try every pineapple beer that's out there. You know what I need to do? I need to go out and find myself, if I had that option, I have to ask the man upstairs, I have to find myself a pineapple beer without that damn hops. Hops is too freaking strong 
a taste. If you put hops in your beer, don't put anything else in there because hops is like so strong. Unless you have like a really light hops taste in there, you push, you're talking about parallax scrolling, put the hops all the way in that back layer, the, the, the skyline layer with the moon and everything like that that barely moves and everything else that's in the front, those are the tastes I want to taste. So, enough. But I'm not battling for me. This is your good buddy DJ Clive. I'm gonna finish this because you know my rule. I have to finish a beer once it's been opened. But I'm not gonna like it. So this is your good buddy DJ Clive saying, until next time, I'll see you in limbo.